Yeah, hi, my name's Jeff Rhodes, and uh, this is another video on Office 365 inspired by my book, Creating Business Applications with Office 365. So this is a, should be pretty short, but the follow-up to my last video, because I realized when I got to actually putting that into a more production-ready state that I didn't have it completely right. So I wanted to go over that again. So uh, if you haven't seen this video, working with multiple value person column in uh, Power Apps, uh, then I'd recommend looking at that first because it kind of has the background. But the gist of it is that we've got a SharePoint uh, list. I actually have two lists. You know, One that we call requesters and very specifically it's a of the requester is of type person. So you see I've got myself and my wife in here and then I've got a separate related list called groups and it's got a requester column as well and it's a lookup to the first list and that's where it got tricky on how to get that correct so let's show you the app that we worked on last time so I've added a new box but let me show you what the problem was I really had two problems with the previous implementation so the first was if I play it I didn't really realize it let me click on the different one so that you can ignore this one at the bottom I'll get to that in a minute but this is what we had last time and what I'm trying to do is have this be a lookup of the people in the requesters but watch what happens if I type in my name I actually get my brother who's I've got set up in my office 365 users but he actually shows up as an option and I can save it in there and well, we'll see, I fixed this in a minute where it didn't get the exact name, but I actually save it in there as well, but it actually just failed, but it actually allowed me to do it. It failed because Rhodes, James Rhodes wasn't there, and so I couldn't really add him, but you know, I've got a messed up kind of output. So if I come back over it, lost it, but that, that wasn't quite right. And when I got into a bigger environment, I saw this was the list of the entire users which could be thousands of people that I really didn't, and all I really wanted was the people that were in that list. So that's the first problem. So let's look at that. So if, if I look at what the items were, it's the choices. And we do that a lot. We can say the choices that go with that column. And that's good if it's a choice column, it'll actually get the values. What that ended up being here is choices was basically the same as saying office 365 search users and grabbing all the users because that's basically anybody who could be chosen for that person column that's everybody in the environment so I had to play with it for a bit you see that's what I did down here and so um, I don't want the default selected items that part didn't change let me switch over to items here and so what I did is is used to for all, you know, which loops through all the requesters and then grabs, that's the requesters list, and this grabs the requester. So I couldn't find that online anywhere. Maybe somebody else has done that, but that makes it work. So I'm basically making a list, a table of all the requesters that are in that list. So when you think about it, it makes sense, but not obvious at first so that's why if I notice if I click over here that works but if I do my search it shows up the other person in the list so I can add my wife here if I wanted and well in this one I'm patching to the other one so I won't patch it yet but trust me when we fix the other one and that will work um, so that's kind of cool so let's go ahead and grab this one and we'll put it over to the other list and grab it that way and we might as well show you the other problem so I had some inconsistent behavior you might remember if you watched that video at the end I was kind of struggling between doing the ID and the value and, and I switched back and forth and it turns out I really needed to change both of them so let's go look at the at the uh, code for for doing it so we went through this last time but basically what happens is I 
set a variable, updated requesters, and I grab the selected items out of my combo box. And then I'm going to set a value for what's already in my list. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. Whoops, hit it again. Jeez, keep hitting bad buttons here. It's got a new mouse, so I'm kind of getting used to it. And so I'm going to grab my selected group and what the requester is. So that tells me what it already was. And then I'm going to do a collection, the updated requesters, and I'm going to clear it. And then I'm going to use that for all again. I'm going to loop through the selected items, and I'm going to build this new call updated requesters. So far, so good. What turns out is this is what I had before and just got inconsistent data where I had one where I looked up the actual ID of the um, of the requester that I'm doing and the other one where I just did the count. It turns out what I really needed to do was have both of these be the ID. So we'll look at that in a minute, but that's what I needed to do. All right, let's, and then what I do is I go patch. I patch the group, I find the right group that I'm on, and then I set the requester to be this collection, this call updated requesters. So let's try it. And to test that, let me add back. Well, let me first show that if I come over here, that when I search, I even if I type in roads here, I don't get anybody that's not in that list. So that's a good sign. Okay, let me just, uh, I'll add my wife in there and patch it. So you see that worked, I added it over here. Let's go look at those collections for a minute. So I can view our collection. So there's the one that I just did. And so I'm putting both the ID and the value to be the ID out of my list. So this, we go back to the requesters. So I'm number one and my wife's number two. So let me add my brother back in. Well, it's called music director. See, I got my brother again. I'll save him. I think I saw my percent in there too. Let's try this. Uh, Yeah, there's my son as well. Oh, yeah, he's not actually a full user. That's why so I can't put him in, so I'll cancel that. But notice the ID of my brothers now is 5. So I'll go back to the data set, and we'll go ahead and refresh that. And let's go back and try it. So we'll come in here. We can click right one let me go in and notice that my brother now shows up maybe i'll get rid of let's have the two of us and i'll patch it so that shows the right one i've got these two matching and if i go look at the uh oh, sorry i'm looking at the view i want to look at my collections now I've got the one ID and the uh, and the five, so that seems to be pretty foolproof. I thought it was that the ID or or the values need to be a unique number, but it wasn't. I got weirdness until I set both of those. So that's pretty much it. So this combined with the other one hopefully will uh, lend a hand if you get in a similar situation. Thanks and have a great day.